Husqvarna ride mower. If you saw my previous video where I changed the fuel pump on this mower, well, this is part two of that video. The mower cranks up. It runs pretty good for a while. But I believe that carburetor might need to be cleaned out or checked out. So this video is going to be about taking the carburetor off. Take this whole carburetor assembly off. You have four bolts. Got two on this side. And you have two over here. And they're star head bolts. So I got this two right here. Under here where your air filter is at, take this cover off. That's your air filter right there. In here where your air filter is at, there are two screws that you have to take out. It's about six bolts all the way around this cover. Bolts for your engine cover, you don't have to take them all the way out, just loosen them up and then the cover will slide up. Take these bolts out and take this cover off and then the big cover will slide up. This big cover should just slide up now. Unhook this fuel line, just go into the carburetor. And get this cover completely out of the way. There are a few springs and whatnot to unhook so you can get the carburetor completely out. It's a spring here, lever latch right here, down here at the bottom. One on this side too, a little hook. Once you unhook all of that, and of course, on this one, you got this wire to unplug. I find it best when you're working on stuff like this, get your phone and take a picture of it. That way you can see how everything go, goes back in place. On the back side of here, you also have two hoses to unhook. Once you've unhooked everything, all your little levers and springs, then your whole carburetor assembly will come off. First place I'm going to start is at this bowl. Got two screws on it. Those could be nasty inside this bowl. Take these two screws out. Pull that bowl off. If you can see up in there, it is kind of nasty. But some of that stuff probably got into the carburetor. Now you can do a couple of things here. You can get you some cleaner, some carburetor cleaner, and spray all up in here and try to clean out. Or you can take the carburetor part and clean it that way, whichever you feel comfortable with. Sometimes you can just spray that cleaner and it will do the trick. If you choose to, you can take these three bolts out and take this plate off. Anytime you start taking a lot of stuff off, have the gasket or have some kind of seller so it's sealed back. Pry it up a little bit. See, they have some shellac or something right there to seal it back. Keep from taking this carburetor all the way apart. Get you some carburetor cleaner, which mine is about empty. I'll probably spray a little bit of ether in there, a little starter fluid, because it's compressed. It's got pressure behind it. Also, take your air compressor and blow through everything real good. Since I got the air compressor out, this fuel line coming from your fuel pump going to the carburetor. Pull that line off and blow through it and make sure that's not clogged up in any kind of way. So you can feel it. Using what I have, I'm going to just spray some of this starter fluid. 
in and through there because my carburetor cleaner is empty. Spray all up in there. I'm going to take my air compressor and blow through it again. It's right over here. If I blow through here, I will feel air coming out right here. Same with right here. But I'm just going to just blow through every hole I see, whether it's actual hole or not. Make sure I get all that dust out. And blow through this line right here too. So that's where your fuel is coming in. It's right through here. You might need to clean this out where your fuel is going into it at. Get you a piece of wire or something. Or I couldn't find me a piece of wire at the time. Just take your old tie from a loaf of bread. Stick it in there. Just in case anything is in there stopping it up, kind of help clean it out. Take your air compressor and blow through it. Put my air compressor right here and blow through it. I can feel air down here. Take my starter fluid or if you have carburetor cleaner, spray it now. I'm going to blow through it one more time and blow everything. Why are you cleaning? Clean inside of this bowl real good. I'm going to take my fluid, spray it in here, wipe that out and clean that up. Also take your piece of wire or I got this little bread tie stick it in here stick it down in there make sure that that opening is good and clear make sure that's that's clean out and take your compressor and blow in it so I make sure every hole you see is clean out got that bowl a little bit cleaner that time put everything back together. When you ready to start putting it back together, get you a gasket maker that's rated for gas, such as this shellac right here, or you can get a paper gasket and you can buy it in a sheet. This plate right here actually got a paper gasket on it. Somebody been in here before because it also had a little like some shellac was on it. So I'm gonna just clean this up a little bit. May put a little bit of select back on it like the, the previous person had done it and uh, put it back together. If you have your good paper gasket, that's all you need. You don't have to put nothing else on now. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of select on it, anyways. That's how it was previously. Just a little bit around here. Put this back on now. On the bottom, first thing, you make sure that this little rubber ring is in place. You didn't lose it out while you was blowing it with your air compressor. Next, put this bowl back on. Normally, I've always seen where it had a, a rubber ring around here, but this one don't. Like, this might have been a little paper gasket or something. I'm going to put a little bit of shellac around this bowl and then screw it back to the carburetor. If you are using shellac, put it on now and let it sit a few minutes before you assemble it back to your carburetor. Next, get your camera back out and look at the pictures that you have taken. 
so you know where all your little levels and springs are supposed to go back when you put your carburetor back in place. On this particular mower, I had three of these little levels right here and also had a spring. There's one hook. It went, it went right here. As you put it back together, make sure these gaskets are in place on both sides. The next lever with a hook in it, it went right here. Put a boat in here so I can be hands free. Maybe I'll put one in the other side too. This will free my hands up. While well, you're up top, this little tiny spring you had. Hook back into this hole right here. This last lever right here. See this right here with this plastic piece? This lever will fit in this groove and slide in the hole. Alright, that's it right there. You can see it's in that is in that groove and go right through that hole. When you put it in there, you should kind of hear it snap. Hear it click a little bit. Then you know it's is in place. Plug this wire back in. We had already started putting two boats in so it could be hands free. Now put the other two boats in down at the bottom. Now just tighten all four of them tight. You had these two hoses behind here. Hook those two hoses back up. They just slide in place. This one, it just pops right there in the back. Next, take your cover, flip it over, hook your fuel line back up, put your clamp back in place. You just take your cover, put that in place. Slide that back on top of them bolts that you're loosening up. Put these two screws back in place. Put your air filter back in place. Put this back in place. Line them boots back up with the hole, tighten it down. Tighten these bolts around your cover. Put the cover back over your air filter. Make sure all your lines is hooked back up to your fuel pump. Slide this clamp over. Now we'll turn the key and see what it's going to do. Got to give it a little bit of time for the gas to flow through the system. Or you can prime it a little bit. You can take this line. Pull a little gas in this line. Help prime it a little bit. I've got everything back together. 
blow your lines out. Got a fuel, new fuel pump in now. We just took carburetor right off and clean it. While you got your air compressor out, when you blowing through your lines, just blow blow through every line all the way back to your tank. Make sure the, the whole system is good and clean. All right, let's turn the key. It's cranking up and running better than it was. Uh, probably need to go back and change spark plugs on it.